Hey gamers, Cyber Snacks back. Now, if you can remember, three weeks ago today, I set myself a challenge. Uh, now, the challenge was to get three rare retro consoles boxed and complete. And I gave myself eight weeks to get those consoles. Um, and by the end of the eight weeks, obviously, I break up for a holiday and I was going to show you the consoles on that week off. Well, things have developed slightly faster than anticipated. Uh, and I've finished that challenge today and I've already got the three consoles now two are here one is directly below me one is over there and the third one has been posted today so I should receive that by the end of next week now rather than keeping you guys hanging for another five weeks uh, I thought well I've got the systems let's get cracking and let's show you what I've got now the three systems that I've picked up are all Japanese imports. Um, obviously one was released over in Europe but not this variation obviously. And the other two consoles, the first one and the third one I'm going to get to show you. Um, they are consoles that realistically only hardcore console collectors would really want to go out and buy. So... Three consoles that I definitely, by far, definitely wanted in my collection. Um, and I'm absolutely chuffed that I've got these three consoles now. Because they are just amazing consoles. Um, but anyway, let's crack on. Console number one. Um, this console is now officially my rarest and most expensive console. I own, full stop. Um, a little bit of a backstory about it. It started its life off as a home computer um, and then in 1993 they transferred it and changed it into a console um, and basically it, this became then the true first 32-bit CD system available. End of. Um, it came out 18 months before the PlayStation 1 um, and to be honest the potential for the console, realistically, it, sh it had tons of potential. Um, brought out some of the probably the most arcade perfect games I've ever seen. Um, and some obscure games that I've never played but I now own. But I'll get into the games in a bit. But obviously, uh, as I say, it's a fantastically rare system. And very, very hard to get out of. Um, and as I say, very expensive and I did pay through the notes for this, but it was worth every single penny. But without further ado, let's show you the box. Now, the console that I do have for console number one is... The FM Towns Marty. Uh, this is the Model 1 version. Um, obviously, they did bring a FM Towns Marty 2 out, which was a darker grey. Um, and it did have uh, a higher CPU rate, um, obviously um, a bit more powerful than the original, but collectors tend to go for the Model 1 version. Um, but as I say, this machine is very, very hard to come by. I did pay a lot of money for it, um, but boy was it worth it. It's an absolute amazing, amazing machine. Right, let's go and get the console itself. One second. Now, first impressions of this machine, um, it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. But, you've got to understand what they've done is they've basically put the home computer into a console. So, it's going to be understandably larger than you think it is. So, let's show you, shall we? There you go. There is the monster, which is the FM Towns Marty. Now obviously you can see you got your main CD unit on the top. Now at the side you've got your 3.5 floppy disk. So you are able to use the discs as well as the CD that was um, set up on the tower in the original FM Towns computer. Um, you've also got ports at the side for a keyboard and you can also put your joypads in. Plus, you can uh, attach a mouse. So this technically is still uh, and can be used as a home computer. 
as well as a console. Uh, preferably this one of mine is going to be a very much used as a console. Now, as I say, absolutely pristine. It's perfect condition and it works immaculately. Um, I've had some fun on this. I received this, realistically, I received this last Saturday. Um, so I've had a week uh, and I've been playing this like crazy, absolute crazy, but an absolutely beautiful machine. It's so silent. I mean, um, when you're playing the game, you don't even know it's on and it kind of puts the Xbox 360 to shame uh, concerning the CD drive because it is absolutely silent. Bang on, absolutely superb. But there you go, guys. There is my very, very first console uh, of the challenge. That is the FM Towns Marty. And boy, am I happy to have this console. Seriously. But that's the console. Let's have a look at the joypad. We can pop this back down. Now, the joypad um, is debatable, um, obviously, because I've got small hands anyway. So there is the joypad. Um, I'll get close for you. Now the joypad is quite small. Now I've got small hands and you can see I'm covering it up quite nicely. But if you've got big hands you're in trouble. Um, as I say the, the design itself is quite comfortable. Uh, you've obviously got your A and B button, your start and your pause. And you've also got one uh, obviously um, trigger on the top. But with all the games that I've played that has not come into function at all as of yet but not too concerned but personally for me obviously having small hands this fits nicely in my hand and it is a very very nice and comfortable controller I had no issues of ache or whatever you know what I mean but yep yeah, there's the controller uh, lovely little controller but as I say if you've got big hands you're a big chap you're in trouble but anyway that is the system, that is the joypad, now comes the bad news. Now obviously the system itself is a very very expensive system um, and it, it just doesn't end there because obviously me looking into the games, originally I was going to get myself a couple of games with the system um, but if I would did that um, the other two consoles would not have even come into the equation because the games are one very very hard to come by and two very very expensive indeed unbelievably I mean they start from anything from £75 up to £250 um, so you can just imagine um, the couple of games that I was going to get um, were you talking £300 for the two so um, I was stumped I got the console, Brad No Games. Now, obviously, um, looking through the YouTube archives and looking at reviews and looking at gameplays, um, I come across a YouTube app which, funnily enough, I'm actually subscribed to, um, which is the Police or Not. And basically, um, he did a video last year of himself picking up an FM Towns Marty. And he also explained that the games are mega expensive and he managed to burn off and rip some copies of games um, so he could play. So the old saying goes, if you don't ask, you don't get. So I thought, I PM'd him and I asked him how he went about this. Uh, would it be easy to do? Because obviously, you know, it's a bit of a cheat not buying an original game for the system but at the end of the day when you pay nearly £185 for a game and you can try and get them for free then I really can't see any question in not getting them to be honest so I PM the guy and I asked him you know how do you go about things how do you get these games is it possible to do and he PM me back and he says I'll tell you what I'll, I'll rip you a few off I'll send him your way. And I said, well, you know, what would you like for him? And he goes, nothing. Don't worry about it. And I was absolutely flabbergasted. I thought, you, you're being serious here. He goes, no problem. I'll send you some your way. So, I've just lost for words. So, I got my post 
uh, come through the post on Saturday um, and he didn't send me a couple he sent me one two three four five six seven eight nine he sent me 12 games and technically these are the 12 best games you can get on the system so I've got to say firstly to the police and all thank you very much for doing something like this sending me 12 games that technically would cost if you bought these original over a thousand pound without question <clears throat> excuse me it's time for a sweet now the games he sent me at the kindness of his heart <clears throat> are all the best games you can buy on the system without fail so we start with this which is Splatterhouse which is by far my favourite game end of story I love the series of games I've obviously got the original um, copy on the PC Engine I do love that game but having this now uh, that is the truest arcade version I've ever played so brilliant and then I've got Raiden uh, Descensi which is te technically Raiden Trad and then he sent me Afterburner and then he sent me Shadow of the Beast and then obviously Viewpoint which many say this version is better than the Neo Geo because there's no slowdown in there at all and I do agree there's no slowdown whatsoever and now this is a fantastic shooter uh, Tatsu Jin U uh, absolutely awesome uh, shoot em up that is top top shoot em up um, I've seen a video of that where they compared it to the arcade and it's absolutely exactly the same in every different it is no difference in it at all but superb shooter and then we have the classic Chase HQ uh, arcade perfect in every way easily the best version I've ever played now Mad Stalker is a mech side scrolling beat em up um, a very good game never heard of it but brilliant game now Genocide Square is another mech game um, obviously but there's Genocide 1 and Genocide 2 on here so there's both games uh, which are very very good side scrolling slash em up games uh, obviously the classic Operation Wolf uh, can't yet play that because I found out you need the mouse to play that which is unfortunate but I will pick a mouse up for the system uh, Muscle Bomber, which is the, obviously the Saturday Night Slam Masters, um, very very good game, love that game anyway. And then finally we have Rainbow Island Extra, which is the obviously the follow up to Bubble Bobble. So all I can say, I've got 12 fantastic games off a fantastic YouTuber and all I've got to say to you is thank you very much mate for doing that for me it does show you what the YouTube community can do for people uh, you know I'm just I'm just so thankful it's untrue so having a magnificent system and now having 12 top games I mean eventually I probably will get myself one at least one original game because I would love the original Splatterhouse um, as its original format but I won't go over the top and get a load of games because, as I say, you know, £108 per game, you've really got to have the money to do that. But there you go, guys. Um, there's my first system, the FM Towns Marty. Um, I'm going to be showing you next week my second system. Um, as I say, it's a, a lovely system, always wanted one. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again for the place note for doing me those games. Please check out his channel. I'll leave all the information down below. Um, and as always, guys, I am Cyber Snake Seven. Keep playing and keep watching, guys. All the best.